Hey everybody, it's uh, John Tantillo and uh, I'm getting ready for my um, uh, 145 uh, Eastern Time hit on Newsmax and uh, it's very easy to uh, tune in. You just stream it at NewsmaxTV.com and and about 145 uh that's where it all happens uh the objective of these um uh frequent meetings these days is to uh increase my subscribership to my youtube channel and uh that's what i'm doing and there's my dear friend and a uh, constant supporter, Willie Rizzo. I hope he's uh, feeling uh, better. Uh, where the walking wounded. Uh, tomorrow I go for my um, uh, my angiogram slash angioplasty. The gram is the assessment tool, and the plasty has to do with the actual procedure that they do to make sure that the blood is flowing through the brains. <laughs> well, actually through the feet. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, so we got that coming about at uh, 145. And um, we're going to talk about something um, that um, has affected uh, me uh, I think my sister uh, made a decision on where to live in Pennsylvania based on this, and this is the safety of nuclear power plants. And I uh, know for a fact when they were looking for house, of, when they were looking not for houses, but when they were looking for places to live. And one place she did not want to live was New York. And uh, what she did was uh, looked at where there were nuclear power plants. And uh, it was the time of Three Mile Island. And that came um, up as a uh, factor in where she was going to move. And since then, uh, a lot has happened in terms of uh, nuclear energy, and it used to be a very um, uh, divisive uh, political topic. And today, uh, what we're going to talk about on uh, John Bachman uh, Law now uh, is um, can. Uh, nuclear power plants be rebranded or nuclear power be branded and of course I believe they can so we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about that but um, so tune in 145 that's 145 Eastern I'm Mountain which is 1145 my time and it's 1045 Pacific time so there you go. I did all of that pretty, pretty well. But what I want to talk about today is something that uh, I am very passionate about, and uh, it's watches, okay? It's a watch, wearing a watch. And young guys um, don't really... Uh, wear watches today the way they did uh, in my father's day or when I was coming up. And I have since um, loved watches. And uh, I believe that it is the ultimate male jewelry brand or, or quality characteristic. Okay, I do not wear jewelry. Okay, I wear no rings. Um, I used to wear my high school St. Francis College ring. I, ne I never got a, a, a high school ring. I never got a college ring 
because for those of you who know, I was in religious life. I was a Franciscan monk for five years, Franciscan brother, the Franciscan brothers of Brooklyn, and you weren't allowed to wear jewelry, okay? And so um, I never really got into wearing rings. My father never wore a ring. He never even wore a wedding ring. How do you like that one? So uh, anyway, I think that that's all uh, all very, very interesting. So um, I just love uh, watches. Uh, my friend Jim Metzger loves his Rolexes, uh, and he likes them for investment purposes. I do not own a uh, Rolex, um, and uh, someday I will, but I don't. The, the watch that, uh, my most precious watch that I, that I wear today is a Ulysses Yarden Big Date. Let's see if I can show that. There it is. All right. And the big date, you can see why it's a big date. Okay. And it is my favorite watch. And it's nice and thin. And it, it is, uh, it's, uh, and it's uh, metal. And uh, do I prefer the metal? Actually, I don't prefer the metal, but I love the face of this watch. And uh, I, just, I just can't say enough about it. And um, I, I, I always believe, and this, you know, some people are going to take a swipe at me for saying this. I think that men who wear jewelry shouldn't wear jewelry. I mean, that's the kind of guy I am. I think it's an affectation. Uh, and all my my friends, and, and that's a personal opinion. It's my opinion. I hope people don't, uh, don't get upset at it. I don't wear pinky rings. Uh, as a matter of fact, I gave Monica for Donovan uh, my pinky w ring uh that was given to me by i think her name was bessie cohen um uh and when i was a child so i i'm gonna ask monica to get that uh, and and knowing donovan he probably dislike he'll never wear it <laughs> i mean he's he's such a character he's just like his mother and father but uh Anyway, so I do not wear rings. It's in my, it's, uh, or jewelry, like the gold chains and any of that. It just wasn't part of me growing up because of my father not, not wearing jewelry. And I'll say no more. But the watch, and my favorite, of course, is um like i said is uh i shouldn't say it's my favorite because the one that i really want to get is what judge andrew napolitano has and he let me wear it for 30 seconds when i was out for dinner and um it is a um oh god the senior is over me um it, and it, the uh, the brand name, um, uh, it's French, and I love it so much because Napoleon had one, Winston Churchill had it, um, Vigne, a Vigne, a Vigne, I think it's called, and uh, they have, and it's it's so funny. Uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth the First, Napoleon, uh, a whole great historical uh, group of people, um, and um, they they wore this watch, and uh, like I said, uh, the one that I uh, that the brand that I want. I mean, uh, the judges, uh, the judges watch 
costs twenty five thousand dollars to give you an idea of a watch. So, uh, but it's it's a it's a beautiful watch. But it but it was heavy. It was very heavy. But that's the one. Now wait a minute. Um, it, it, now it, 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 I, I I always mispronounce it. Now, but I think it's it's a binet a, a binet a binet. Okay, so uh, I j that's the one that I really, really want. Even before the um, the um, uh, Rolex, but okay. And what's funny about it is that of all watch companies, Swatch bought it. I mean, it's been around since the eighteen hundreds. I think 1850 or well it had to be around the time that uh napoleon was around i think th i don't know whether or not napoleon bought it it was given to him or it's b-e-i-g-n-e-t binet a binet i never i'm never good with languages okay so uh, anyway so what I want to do is put a little, some finishing touches on my um, uh, presentation today, on my interview today with the ever wonderful Allison Baloney, who is a peach to work with, and, uh, and uh, John Bachman and John, ba on his show, John Bachman now is not chopped liver either. So um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut this short and remember to subscribe to my uh, YouTube uh, channel. And it's uh, John Tantillo, which is JT or John Tantillo at Marketing Doctor or the Marketing Doctor. So that's what we're going to do. We'll see you at 145 Eastern on Newsmax. And remember, go brand yourself. And I won't be wearing the red uh, blazer. Uh, and the reason for that is we like to play it a little calmer when we're on, uh, on, we're on news television. Okay. So see you later, alligator. Be good. Bye-bye.